Hello everyone, this is Michael Cheek with Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. Today we're going to start Wish You Were Here by Pink Floyd. This is going to be the first video in the series, and I'm just going to show you how to do some of that intro that comes in at the beginning, kind of quiet and kind of fades in. Um, if you want to watch the other videos, you can go to www.Mike'sGuitarLessons.com. I'll have all the videos for this song that I've done on the website. And uh, you can reach me by going through the website on the Contact Us page, or you can email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Um, basically what you're looking at here at the beginning of the song is not too complicated. It's basically uh, you're getting to leave some of your fingers there the whole, in the same spot the whole time and just change a couple of the bass notes. So what it's going to sound like is this. that section right there that everybody remembers so um, from the from the beginning of the song I mean now what we have to do first is learn what chord we're holding down we don't have to know the name necessarily but um, I want to show you what fingers to hold down so you're gonna take your pinky and actually let me go through the strings real quick so you know what I'm talking about um, this is the E string the skinniest one if you can see that then the next one up is the B string, or the second string, depending on what you, want, what you want to call it. This is the third string G, the D string, or the fourth string, the fifth string, A string, and the E string, or you can call it the sixth string. Now, I'm going to take my pinky and put it on the third fret of the E string, playing that note right there. Okay. I'm going to take my third finger and put it on the third fret of the B string, and play, play that note, okay? Now, our first two fingers are kind of going to kind of move around a little bit, so I'm not gonna tell you where they go right off the bat, okay? But this is our chord, you strum four strings, that's what you're gonna hear. Now, the bass notes that you hear changing around in there that add a little variety to the just the plain strumming um, are gonna be played like this. So you're gonna keep the third and your uh, fourth finger still, okay? And to start off the song, the very first thing that you hear even though it's kind of quiet, is you're going to play open on the D string. Actually, it's open on the A string. I take that back. So um, what you've got here is the A string. That, remember, that's the fifth string from the bottom. And you're going to play that one open, meaning you just don't uh, press any fingers down. You just pluck it open like this. Okay? And then you're going to take your first finger and hammer on in the second fret of the A string. Now remember if you don't know already a hammer on is just where I'm going to pluck it once and then the next note I'm going to come down hard enough with my first finger to make that next note come out without re-plucking the string. Like that. Very common in guitar so you would definitely want to get used to doing those. Okay so my first note again is open on the A string and then I'm going to hammer in the second fret of the A string. Okay, my next note is open on the D string. That's the next string down, the one I'm pushing. Okay, and that one's open. Okay, those are the first three notes. And that gets us to our chord. What you're going to do here is, and actually this is going to be played as a single note before you play the chord. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the D string, playing this note. Okay? Now, what that's going to sound like is this. Okay? Now, once you're there and you've played that last note, that fourth note, you're going to strum it. Okay? Now, it sounds a little like I'm leaving that incomplete, the strumming pattern, and that's because I have to play a few bass notes again to go to my next chord. So I do have to kind of interrupt my rhythm. So get used to playing this. Okay. And then you're going to play your next set of notes. You're going to repeat this note, the second fret on the D string, by itself. So you play that one. Then you're going to lift that finger so it gets out of the way. And you're going to play the third string, or the G, um, open. Okay, if you can't see it, I'm playing the third string from the bottom. Okay, so 
second on the D, open on the G, back to second on the D, and then open on the D string. Okay, so that was one, two, three, four more notes. Okay? So it's going to sound like this. Oops, sorry, I kind of screwed that up. Uh, and then I go to my next chord. And what that's going to be is just a kind of a normal G chord. Okay, so for that G chord, you're going to leave this these two fingers where they're at. Remember, they stay there the whole time. But after we play our series of four notes, oh, sorry. we're going to take these two fingers and put them down. Our middle finger is going to go in the third fret of the E string, the thick E string, playing that note. And our first finger is going to go in the second fret of the A string. Okay. Now, I don't hear that one as much. They could be muting that note in the song. I'm not completely positive. So if you wanted to mute that one, that's okay. Or if it accidentally gets muted, not that big of a deal. You'll still have the right sound that you're looking for. Okay? And then you strum that with the rhythm. So you're going to go from the beginning Now, I went back into the next part, but you might have noticed I added one note. And it's not really me adding a note. They just left it off the first time they go through that little riff. So what you end up doing is from the beginning, you, you play it this way. And then you play your G chord. And now the note that they left off the first time is this third fret on the E string that your middle finger is holding down. I want you to play that one and then you're going to repeat from the beginning of what we did before. Okay, so it's... Now you're going to add that note in with that every time. You don't have to leave it out anymore. And it's back around. Okay? Now you just kind of repeat that a few times. There's another section. Uh, it does change a little bit, a little further into the song, but, but I didn't uh, start a timer on this video, so I'm not for sure how long I'm going here, and I don't want to run out of time. So again, you can find the other videos at www.mikesguitarlessons.com, um, and if you want to email me, you can email me at feedback at mikesguitarlessons.com, or you can just reach me through the contact us uh, link on the website. I appreciate.